In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a proportional symbol map using QGIS. In a proportional symbol map, a data set that includes an attribute that reflects some kind of quantity is visualized using symbols that are sized proportionally to each feature's value. Now, this is different from a graduated symbol map, which has symbol classes of different sizes that the features of your data set are then classified into. So you can make graduated symbol maps in QGIS too, but this tutorial is about proportional symbol maps. The data set that I'm working with that you see here on the screen shows Washington DC Metro Rail stations. And they are symbolized with these green point markers that are currently all the same size, obviously, so I want to visualize this data set to show average weekly ridership by station for the year 2018. So if I go into my attribute table for this data set, let's find the field that applies. It will be this YR 2018. All right, so let's get started. First, I'm going to right click on my layer go to properties. Then I want to make sure that my symbology tab is selected and that single symbol is selected at the top. This is where you'll want to choose your base symbol for your map. You can choose any type of symbol here really. It could be a, a picture that you, you import. It could be a different type of shape or whatever, an icon. I'm just gonna keep it simple and go with a circle, but I am going to change the color here to this purple. And I'm gonna change the stroke color to white. You can choose whatever you would like, but it is good to have a stroke color in case you have overlapping symbols on your map. It will help differentiate each of the features. For this reason, I'm also going to make it partially transparent or add some transparency. So I'm gonna change the opacity to about 55 or so, so that we'll be sure to see all of, all of our symbols. So I'll click apply here. And you can also tweak this symbology after you create your proportional symbols, uh, depending on how, how it ends up. That's perfectly fine. Now let's go back up to the size section here. Don't worry about what is listed as a value here because we're going to be using the data defined override section by clicking on this button over on the right. I'm gonna to go to assistant. And so now I'm going to choose the field in the data set that has the values I want the size of the symbols to reflect. So remember that was YR2018. And then you can choose the range of values you want to visualize. I want to use all of the values in my data set. So I'm going to click on this refresh button and it will populate the smallest and largest values in my data set. So once I do that, you'll see QGIS has created my symbol scheme for my map. And so these show what the symbols will look like for some example values. Now, if you'd like, you can change the size of the minimum and maximum symbol size by increasing or decreasing these values you see here, like that, or like that. I'm just gonna keep the default. Now, Another thing you can do, you can also apply a scaling factor. Research has shown that people underestimate area size when they're using maps, and so a scaling factor can help alleviate that problem. 
I can, what I'll do is I can click on apply transform curve and I can select a particular scale method. There are four listed. Flannery is the most well known, but if you click on each, it will, you can see a preview of how that changes your symbols. I'm just going to stick with Flannery. And then I'm going to click OK and then apply. And we have our proportional symbols generated. Now, there is one last thing we need to do. QGIS will not automatically create a legend for a proportional symbol map. So if I created a new layout right now and tried to add my map and a legend, the legend would be blank. And so we need to generate our legend first. So we just go back to our symbology tab and click on marker up here. And then scroll down, click on advanced and then data defined size legend. So we want to click on collapsed legend and there we can see a preview of what our legend will look like. You can add a title if you would like. You can also manually choose the classes you'd like to have labeled on the legend by clicking on this box. I'm going to change it so we have four classes shown instead of the, the uh, six shown here. So I'm just going to click on this plus. Add another one. Okay, one, uh, one last thing that you can do is you can change the alignment of the symbols that are shown in your legend. So you could change it to center so they kind of or look like a bullseye there. I prefer the default, so I'm just going to stick with that. Click OK. OK again. And there your legend shows up in the layers panel there. So to create our map layout, just go to Project and New Print Layout. Actually, let me zoom to the layer so we get all of our circles in there. Okay. Then I will click on the Add a New Map button. And then Add Legend. Just put it up here. I'm going to clean this up a little so that the base layer isn't shown on the legend. So I'm going to unclick auto update, click on the base layer, and then the minus button. And then I'm going to clean up the text here. And there you have it, a proportional symbol map.